morning everybody, welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's vlog because I am talking about my 25 week pregnancy update as well as a baby haul. I am currently 25 and a half weeks right now. By the time you see this video, I will be, I think, a day away from being 26 weeks pregnant. The baby is the size of a cantaloupe. Here's the baby belly. The baby is a growing. I've noticed my clothes are fitting tighter if they are not maternity clothes and my maternity clothes that I do have are starting to fit me better. One major change over the last few weeks has been being able to feel the baby. So I have already had three other babies and with those babies I've been able to feel the baby move at about 15 or 16 weeks along. With this one it's taken a little bit longer and that is because the ultrasound techs have told me that the placenta sits right up front and so it kind of acts as a cushion to where I would normally feel the baby move. And so it took a little bit longer to feel the baby move this time around. And then just last week, Landon felt her move for the first time as well. So he was super excited about that. And it usually happens in the evening when I'm laying down, getting ready to go to bed, he can feel her kick around and move. And that is when she gets active. For those who are new to my channel, I am having a girl. We are naming her Lucy DeRue. And so we are so excited for her arrival at the end of May. My oldest is Emma and she was born in the fall and so when I was getting baby items for her they were for the warmer months. Now that I'm having a baby girl six years later in the springtime I kind of need to start over with the newborn items, the clothing items that she's going to be wearing because I don't want her to sweat and be wearing lots of warm heavy fleece type outfits in the summer. As much as I like to go to Target and Walmart and Carter's and Babies R Us and all these other big chain stores to buy baby items, I still really like to support small local businesses and there are so many in the state of Utah, but I found a few that I really like and so I want to share with you a few items that I have found. So this first item you have probably already seen, this is the very first baby gift item that I have received and this is from Lannan's mom and it is a bath towel. I showed this in my other vlog but I'll show you again. It's just a really soft bath towel. I'm not sure where she got the towel from but I love the texture and she always sews a hood on them and has really cute little detailed lace on it. The next bath item are Norwex rags. So I've talked about Norwex before in the past that I started using them. They also have a baby cloth item and it's just like the body cloth but they're just a little bit smaller for babies and I think the reason why I'm going to like these is because of the silver that's in them I don't have to use soap and so I won't have to be putting soap on the baby every time I bathe her and when I do wash her with these washcloths I don't have to wash the washcloth every time I use it and with babies they get lots of spit up around their neck and they get sweaty but you don't want to give them a full-on bath every day and so I think these washcloths are gonna come in really handy they're really soft and so I'm excited to use these on her and not have to wash the washcloths every time I use them because I'm sure she will go through a lot of them. The first company I want to talk about is Copper Pearl. My little sister Ellie showed in one of her videos the other day that she had gotten some burp cloths from Copper Pearl and this is what I've gotten from them. I got some burp cloths as well and these are the designs that I have. I think the flowers are so cute. I love all the different floral patterns that they have nowadays. But what I love about them is how long they are because my babies, they spit up a ton. And when you use a typical burp rag, it doesn't cover your back enough. And that's what's most important is covering your backside, I think. And so I like how these are really long and they feel very absorbent. And so when the baby spits up behind you, you're protecting your shirt from the back, not just the front. And that's what I really like about these as well. And then at about six months old, my babies start to drool and teethe and they're eating baby food. So they're spitting up different colors of baby food. And so I think having a little bandana bib to help protect their clothes that they have is really important. And they can still stay fashionable. Look how cute these are. They're very soft and absorbent and the clips on the back, there's two different clips and so you can adjust it to the baby's neck size. And these are a few other ones, I just think they're so cute. They match the burp claws that I have as well. I am also a huge believer in swaddling my babies. When the baby comes home from the hospital, I think it's really important to keep them swaddled and tight and warm and make them feel like they're still in the womb. And I just feel like they sleep better that way. And so Copper Pearl has an amazing, um, really stretchy swaddle blanket and 
I love the design on this and I also have a hat to go with it. Who wouldn't want a little matching hat to go with it? And I like how the knot on the top, you can just re-knot it to fit the size of the baby's head. So I'm excited to bring her home and take a picture of her wearing a matching hat and swaddle blanket and I don't know, I just think that's a really sweet pattern right there. And then the last thing I got from Copper Pearl are one of those, I guess you'd say they're pretty trendy nowadays, the car seat covers as well as nursing covers. You can use it as a scarf, um, I think like a high chair cover. So it's like a five in one, but I really like the design of this fabric. I wanted something pretty and soft and springy. I think bringing a baby home at the end of May, beginning of June is a fun time of year. And so I just wanted it to be bright and summery. And so I think this pattern will be perfect. And then I'll be able to use it as a nursing cover as well. And then just so you know, I am going to be leaving a link down in the description below from all the companies that I am talking about today. So the next items I wanna talk about came from Caroline Jade. They are local to me, they are really close, and they have the cutest little baby items on their website and Instagram. And so I'm gonna show you what I got from them. This is a little long sleeved romper, and I thought this would be perfect. I love the color for like October, November time. She'll be about six months old then. And so I thought this would be really cute with a pair of like, either tights to go under or those long, really high socks or leggings, something like that I thought would be really cute. And I love the ruffle on the sleeves. I just thought this was a really pretty color for the fall. And then towards the end of summer leading up to fall, I thought this romper was really cute. One of my favorite colors lately has been the mustard yellow color. I don't know if Landon loves that color, but I think it's a pretty color. But this little romper is silky and really lightweight feeling, so she could wear it on warmer days, and then on cooler days I could put like a little onesie underneath it probably. But I thought that the yellow flowers on that was really cute, and it's got some stretchy sleeves and buttons in the back right there. And then I am dying over this little outfit. So this is just like a little summery watermelon romper, and it even crisscrosses in the back. I thought that this was going to be perfect for those summer picnics that we will be going on. I think it's adorable. And most of the outfits come with a head bow. This is for the yellow outfit that I showed you. And this will go with the watermelon outfit. You can just tie it around their head to fit their head size and put a little knot or bow on the top. I'm excited to put her in this. Caroline Jade also has moccasins. And I think these moccasins are super cute. They are gold with little bows on the top. And I feel like the gold color will just go with pretty much anything that she owns. When Porter was little, I had a little pair of moccasins for him and he wore them for a long time. I feel like they kind of grow with your feet because you can put them on their feet even before they fit them and they'll stay on and they just last a really, really long time. So if you find an outfit that does not have a head bow, don't worry because Annie and Pretzel will save you. I found Annie Pretzel on Instagram and she makes the cutest little head bows. I don't know if you wanna call them headbands, hair bows, head bows, whatever you wanna call them. She has so many different options, even little boys bow ties. Oh, look how cute these are. Those will go perfect with the gold moccasins that I have. I think it's really sad when I see babies that have really tight headbands on their head and then when you take them off, they leave this red imprint on their head. I, I just think that looks really uncomfortable. But these headbands I really like because they are made out of, it looks like, like a nylon stocking type of material. And so they're very soft, very stretchy. Doesn't look like they're going to leave imprints on her head, which I've done that to Emma before and I always felt kind of bad. I just think they look really dainty looking, so I'm excited to dress her up a little bit. The next thing I wanna talk about is diaper bags. A diaper bag is something that you need to be pretty selective on what one you pick. You've got to like it as a mom because this is something that you use every day. Every time you pack up the baby and leave the house, you take your diaper bag with you. You're shoving stuff in there from the baby, from the toddlers, from the older kids, for you. You use and abuse diaper bags. I have gone through several diaper bags and I really have liked all of them. And it's not because I had to, more just because I think it's kind of fun to mix things up as I have kids. I like to have different diaper bags. And so the one that I've been using for the past couple weeks is by Ryla. And what I like about this is it is a backpack style. 
and I've had fat pack style diaper bags before, but they tangle my hair up right here. They knot it up, and I don't know if it's the way the straps are, but I just they always pull my hair and I don't like it. But this diaper bag, I really like the straps on it because they're adjustable down here, not up here, so they're not going to pinch my hair like they have done in the past. I like that they have these buttons on the bottom because I think it helps protect the bottom when you put it on hard surfaces. There's a big pocket up front that you can put stuff in. Two pockets on the sides, they fit my vlogging camera, uh, my phone, keys, water bottle, whatever you want to put on the side. And then there's even a pocket right here which is super handy to put like mommy stuff or um, the diaper changing pad that it comes with. But I don't need the diaper changing pad because I am potty training so that's been nice. But I will use it when the baby comes. And then inside there's lots of storage room. Let's see if I can show you. So there are two insulated bottle holders. I plan on nursing my baby so I probably won't use those for bottles but maybe for like a water bottle for like the older kids. And then I've got one that I keep my sunscreen and lotion and that kind of stuff in as well. But there's just lots of room in there. There's like one, two, three, three pockets on the inside. So I like using a backpack for a diaper bag. I just think it's functional. It feels like good quality, so I'm excited to continue to use this, especially for when the baby comes. There's a little binky holder in there as well. So like I said, I love to support local businesses. I am going to leave a link in the description for all those companies that I showed you, but I still do shop at Target and Babies R Us and Carter's, and so I'm gonna show you some fun, cute little outfits that I've gotten for the baby. All right, now I want to hear from you guys. What is one of your favorite baby items? Whether it was something that you saw in today's vlog or some item that you like yourself. Comment down below with some of your baby must-have items. If you want to continue to follow my pregnancy journey or just watch my cute family grow, subscribe, click the red button down below, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you again so much for watching and we will see you guys tomorrow.